Fresh Baked, today we got our first look at what a new redhead scene will look like on Pirates of the Caribbean. It's been installed first at Disneyland Paris, and our friends at DLRP Fans were kind enough to let us view the footage they captured Thursday morning of the newly renovated attraction. So please do take a minute to check out their channel and subscribe. So I, I think it's safe to assume that what we see here will at the very least approximate what we'll get at Disney World in Florida and Disneyland in California. So it, it's absolutely worth taking a careful look at how Paris is doing this new scene. Please also note that while there are usually both French and English versions of the dialogue spoken in the attraction, this coverage captured only has the French versions of the dialogue. We've been trying to get translations, but with limited success so far. I'd wait to get some, but I, I don't want to wait to get this video out. But before we get to the scene, there are actually a bunch of other changes to the Paris attraction, so we're going to be covering those as well. At least as many as we can spot, that is. Some are probably a little more obvious than others. So let's get started. This first scene change is the addition of a Blackbeard mist projection, similar to the ones we see at Disneyland in, in California. And it's on an incline into the showroom. And it, it's pretty par, I guess, as far as mist projections go. Nothing really to, to, to comment on here. In the next room, there used to be a, a lot of shadow projections on the walls of, of pirates mid sword fight. These appear to be gone. Instead, there's just this guy swinging back and forth on a rope. It's pretty cool looking, but I almost think I would rather have the old scene here myself. It, it's, it's a curious change. No changes here, just showing how the two attractions compare. They're, they're pretty similar, just in a different sequence. And as we'll see later, I, I think it's plain that the animatronics at Paris are more than a little better than ours at Disneyland. All right, so here's the redhead scene. Dialogue is in French. It looks very much like the old scene in a lot of ways. You've got your ladies in a row there on the left, looking sad and defeated. There's the redhead standing proud with a rifle on her hip. Different outfit though. Her face is definitely different than our redhead, though I'm not sure if this is a new development or if the Paris redhead always looked this way. Also, notice the visibly darker, more somber lighting arrangement, especially around the redhead. She is not lit as well as she was before. Previously, there was a, a stronger reddish light around the entire scene. So a few people asked about the woman who was actually up for auction, she of the larboard side. Uh, she's still there as well in much the same pose it appears, but I can't really tell what her, what her role is in the scene, but she definitely is not up for auction. As for the dialogue, I don't know what they used to say, but they're certainly not saying what we're familiar with here in the US. Some of the translations I've heard so far suggest that the auctioneer is, is asking for bids on the treasure that they've looted. And that's pretty much what we all assumed was going to be the case when we first heard the news. And then in response, the pirates across the river say, we want guns like the redhead. Not, not exactly we wants the redhead, is it? I'm not sure how I feel about that one. I don't know why they couldn't have just gone for it there. I've also heard that one pirate shouts that they should sell the treasure by weight. Now, I'm assuming this is a reference to the quote, are you selling her by the pound? Probably lost in translation or possibly changed intentionally. I I'm not sure. Now, I've heard a lot of comments already expressing disappointment that she's not doing much. And while it's true, she isn't. She didn't do anything before either. Uh, she did previously just stand there with one hand on her hat and one hand holding the hem of her dress with just a subtle lift of her hand. I'm not sure what people were expecting or at least hoping for. Maybe they thought she might point the rifle at one of the pirates or maybe she might even say something, but that does not appear to be the case. She does not speak. And I, I, again, I think that that's what many people were hoping for. I will say that this is one scenario where I think we might get a different scene than Paris. There's enough time for them to hear public opinion on this and possibly, you know, amplify her role. It's, it's a lot to expect and there's no reason to expect it, but I can imagine that it could possibly happen. Okay, so let's keep going as there are a few other things we can observe in the attraction, namely this here sword fight. I guess it's pretty good. I mean, there are moments where it's kind of unimpressive, but then there are moments where it is good. Uh, and that's a lady pirate, right? I, I have to assume that because the guy is certainly not dressed like a pirate, so, so she must be the pirate in this scenario. Now, here are two changes worth noting that practically nobody will notice at first, I think, or even care about. First, the hat pirate. Now, he used to just sort of move a little. Uh, now he's, he's all over the place, as are the hats. And this looks great, if you ask me. Our pirate at Disneyland doesn't move at all. And Paris fans will notice that they've also added two pirates behind the hat pirate who was previously by himself, or at least he 
was alone in the footage that I've seen in the past. I very much enjoyed the, the upgrade to this animatronic and it's very noticeable and it's something that I think that, that Paris fans should be proud of. What's also great is this Gene Kelly looking son of a gun. I am loving this guy. Okay, the final major renovation is the inclusion of a ghost Barbosa near the end of the attraction. He looks like a regular pirate as you approach, but when the lightning strikes, you can see his ghostly form. It's a, it's a pretty cool addition, and it's impressive looking, but I also can't help but notice that the ghost effect looks kind of painted on, almost like it's a phosphorescent algae or something that's on his clothes. And I, I noticed this because I want to compare it to what they did to Jack Sparrow at Shanghai. It's, it's not as good, I don't think. Uh, but then we're kind of a, a lot closer here to Barbosa than we are to Jack Sparrow at Shanghai. But still, it's a cool change, and it's a change for the better, if you ask me. And in conclusion, as I reflect on these changes in Paris, I think the key takeaway here shouldn't be the success or failure of the changed redhead scene, the right or wrong of it. It should be that this attraction is better than it used to be. And it's better because of their commitment to practical physical effects to more and better animatronics. It really does make me hope that they bring some of these changes to our pirates in Disneyland. The ride is still what it's always been, but I would love a more fluid hat pirate, for example, or a ghost Barbosa who takes a cut at me with a sword, or, or a Gene Kelly pirate swinging around a light pole. That is an improved guest experience. All right, guys, that's all we have for you today. That is the newly renovated Pirates of the Caribbean scenes at Disneyland Paris. I want to hear from you guys. What did you think of these changes? Try to keep it off the political stance if you can. Think technical only. Uh, what did you think of the new animatronics? What did you think of Barbosa? What did you think of, of, of the Redhead's role in the scene? Let us know in the comments below. And until next time, fresh baked.